What's up YouTube, Georgia Silver Hunter back and today we'll be going through some silver that I've recently purchased and something new you can find in the Georgia or the GA coins and collectibles.com store and that is my own little personalized GA Silver Hunter coin roll hunting mat. And you can see it's pretty basic. We've just got some silver, you know, sort of in the background. It's all 1964, 90% Kennedy halves. I've got my logo on it, my little YouTube GA Silver Hunter but it's actually a pretty decent little mat. Um, I'm using a service that does these print to order, uh, but like I said, you can find it in the store. I do have it in three different sizes. I did get proofs for the first two sizes. Hopefully this is all fitting on camera. There's an, a 12 by 18, and then I believe this one is the uh, 12 by mm, 22 or something like that. And then there's a big one that's like 15 and a half by 31. It's huge. They're all made basically the same way. It's the same material. They're all rubber backed. Um, they're all bound on the edge with, with uh, sort of a nylon to keep them together. But overall, I'm real happy with the proofs that I got. Um, the, the service that I'm using, I can make tons and tons of designs. So I'm sure I'll be throwing a few new ones out there as I come up with them. This one is pretty simple. I didn't want to, I didn't want to copy like Rob Finds Treasure and have writing all over the place. I just wanted something that was me. It had my logo on it and something I could use for my videos. But if it's something you want to help support the channel, like I said, they're over at gacoinsandcollectibles.com. Um, the shipping that is associated is with the basically print and drop ship company. So the shipping does seem high, but I've tried to bring the price of the mats down to offset for some of the expensive shipping there. So um, anyway, just excited to have this. You're going to see this in all my videos moving forward, um, either this one or the next one size up. So we'll see which one I like more. Uh, but enough about the Georgia Silver Hunter merch. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get into some of the silver that we got. So let's start with this one. I did a video, I don't know, a week or two ago when silver was dropping in spot like a rock. It got down into the low 22s, I think. Maybe it was the high 22s. And I did a video on what would I buy um, if I were to make a silver purchase today. And while I didn't get exactly what I showed you, I got a lot or, or some of what I showed you. So uh, this one, I believe came from Provident Metals, and it was well packaged. I went ahead and ripped the box open because no one wants to see me fumbling with a box. We got a small partial tube of silver, and we have a small partial tube of copper. And I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in here now. Let's see if I can get my whole mat in the frame, just or at least some of my logo here, just to make it a little bit official. There we go, that's a little better. So I'm going to try to get into these. I'm going to actually pause this and go off camera because i got to grab a couple of the things that will make these purchases make a little bit more sense. And I'm going to go ahead and cut the tape off of these as well. All right, well, I'm glad I went off camera for that because I struggled with some of that ribbon tape quite a bit. And I was able to get me a glove because invariably someone will, in the comments will remind me that I shouldn't be handling these, these coins or these rounds with my bare hands. So anyway, let's jump into it. As I said, this came from Provident Metals. I've only made a few purchases from them, and I think they're like a sister company to JM Bullion. So what you're about to see here, I believe you can get for the same or similar prices on JM Bullion as well. Uh, these came really well packed, as you saw in that box, really stuffed in there, and uh, lots of, uh, I'm holding it by the edges, nobody freak out. Uh, it came with enough packing peanuts that these things didn't bounce around, but if you guys could see already, these are the new Kuka Buried uh, Zombucks. And hopefully I can get that in a decent light for you guys. I think these are really pretty. It's the Zombucks based on the Kookaburra from, I think, Australia. I mean, maybe I should hold it with that hand. But uh, let's see here. It says Zombucks Currency of the Apocalypse. One ounce, three nines fine, silver. So one of the reasons I picked these up is I am collecting the entire series. I did do a previous video some time ago on these, and I was able to pick up seven of them. Um, I'll get the actual price and put it on the screen, but I bought these the weekend that silver dropped. It was right after I did my video. Like I said, it was down and I want to say like the low 22s or high 22s, and I watched it at about one o'clock in the morning on Sunday before sort of everything opened up on Monday and the price had just started to tick up, and I, I hit the buy button on both of these orders before we saw the big, like, 50-cent jump, 60-cent jump the next day, and it's kind of continued to climb since then. So I did really well on these. Normally, I time it very badly, and I buy at the, at the height and, and end up having to sell when silver's down. 
uh, or end up wanting to sell when the silver's down. But part of the reason I got those is because I am working on two full sets of the zombie apocalypse. And if I can remember how this opens, here it is. Uh, this little collector's case, which you can also get at Provident Metals, gives you enough spaces for all 10 of the silver coins and all 10 of the copper coins. So I am uh, giving you guys a little preview of what some of that copper is gonna be. But if you haven't seen the collector's case, this is what it looks like. Um, it also does come with, I think, the 39 millimeter cases to hold uh, one of each of the copper and silver coins. I'll pick that up again. So you can protect these when you put them into that case and keep them in the condition you got them in. Um, coming over here to the copper, We'll go ahead and pop this. Now, I didn't get all of the new kookaburried copper. They had a couple other copper pieces, or at least one other copper piece that caught my eye, and I bought uh, at least one or two of those, if I recall. And I also did it in such a way to get my order right over $200. I want to say my order was like $200.94 or something like that, because they actually had these, and you don't need gloves to handle copper, but these were these Sheriff Copper Coins that uh, just looked really cool. They were, rather than being like $1.99 or 205 or something like that, they were $1.29 or $1.59 or something. So they were a little bit cheaper, which helped me get the price down. And when you're buying copper, you know, copper is only $3.50 a pound. So if you're spending over a dollar an ounce on copper, you're spending a lot of money on it. So these are just kind of neat to have. I wanted to have a few for maybe giveaways on the channel. Uh, but let's see here. I got one, two three of those, and I got four of the kookaburried copper rounds that just look really, really nice, and they'll look really good in that collector's case. So if you're on the fence about buying these, they're all still available. They're going to sell each version for about three months before they discontinue them. So there's no specific mintage. They're going to publish mintage numbers when the series is done and over. Um, so you don't know. These things may be a big hit. They may not. I know the first series of the Zombucks were really, really big, and they became very, very collectible. So uh, this is the second series, and whenever I can buy the first series, I've always got my eye out for them. If I can find a good price, I do plan on trying to pick those up. So I think I moved those a little off camera there. But uh, that was the order from Provident Metals, so let's go ahead and jump into the second box. Okay, well, I've put some of these in capsules. I've actually filled in my Zombucks uh Currency of Apocalypse Collector's Case. So just show you that real quick. We've now got the Kookaburro or the Kooka Buried in there. I've got another one of these. I've actually, I bought two of them. So I'm going to fill these two guys into that other set when I take it out. But I did want to go ahead and get into uh, the Monument Metals box. And if you've never bought from Monument Metals, typically your silver, depending on what you get, comes in a little white box like this inside of another box that this barely fits in. And it, you almost need a crowbar to get it out. I mean, they really secure their their boxes when they ship them. Um, just to show you guys what it looks like here inside the case. You know, I've got not a whole lot of silver in here. I think only like eight or nine ounces, but uh, it comes in a padded, on, padded envelope inside of this box, inside of another box. They do their best to make sure that silver is going to get to you in uh, one piece. So, sorry, this is going off camera. I'm trying to rip into this envelope now. You could tell I had pre-opened all these just to get my paperwork out of them so I wouldn't fumble around on camera. But uh, here we go. Let's go ahead and pull this all out. So then we are actually bubble wrapped again inside of a bubble wrap. And uh, I, like I said earlier, the, the video that I did just before I made these purchases talk about at least two of these coins. But something new came out in the time that I posted that video and um, me actually placing my order that just looked a little bit better. So we're going to start with the coin that uh, I had originally talked about buying. It is this Liberty Iwo Jima Memorial coin. Hopefully that's coming through okay for you guys. Um, it's got a little bit of a proof finish on it. Actually, it does have a proof finish on it. Look at the back there. Now, it looks like, I don't know if that's milk spotting on the coin or if it is um, just on the plastic. But it looks like we do have a nice big fingerprint right in the middle of this coin. I'm not going to be too upset about that because these are just rounds that I got for stacking. But these are milk spotted uh, or at the very least we've got fingerprints on them. So that would be one thing that, you know, if you want something pristine, you might be a little bit upset about. But 
I think these were like $1.99 over spot. And like I said, I got it when spot was darn near its lowest point. So I'm not going to get too upset about that. Um, these are just going to go into some uh, tubes like this and I'm going to hang on to them. But those were $1.99 over spot. And these they just released um, last week called, it's their Dead Men Tell No Lies or Tell No Tales, I guess. And I got a bunch of these. Um, the design you see online never does the coin justice, but I think this looks pretty darn cool. We've got a skeleton holding what looks like a crystal ball on a pirate ship. Just trying to get you guys in, in a good amount of light so you can see that. I'll do a close-up with the camera down off of the rack. But, uh, and then on this side, of course, we have one ounce, three nines fine silver with uh, a pirate man at the wheel with tons of cannons. So we got two here and four more here. So that is two, four, six, eight, right? Two, four, six, eight silver coins. And I'm just trying to look real quick online. I want to say I got all of that for $204.92. So you guys can do the math back from there. These might have been 249 over spot. Maybe they were just 199 over spot. I can't recall, but they were on an any quantity deal and I was excited to get them. So this is kind of what I got for my stack. Let me take the camera down so you guys can get a little bit better view of these and then uh, we'll call it a video. So hang tight. Okay, well, we'll get a little bit closer look at these because I know sometimes the overhead camera doesn't do it quite justice. Um, here are those one ounce copper rounds just so you get a little bit better look at it. And we'll get the front to that sheriff round. I think they did this in silver as well. But I did check. These were $1.29 instead of $1.99 like the Cuckoo Buried coins. There we go. You can get a little bit better look at the copper version of that. It says 2026. $3. I don't know why it says 2026, but there we have it. The silver obviously is the same design uh, just in silver. Now, I do have some specking in the in the mirror finish there. I don't know if that's supposed to be there, but all of them tended to have that. So I don't know if that's a production problem or something that maybe just got dust on it in transit, but uh, I'm not too worried about it. So that's what the Kuka Buried looked like. Let's get a closer look at this Dead Men Tell No Tales. I just think this is a really cool looking round. And it is just a round, so... I'm not too worried about touching this with my, my fingers, but I am still trying to handle it by the edge. I just think this is really, really neat. Kind of a cool coin. And uh, these Iwo Jima coins, I mean, you can just see, we could probably get somebody arrested. The entire fingerprint is on that coin. But these are really nice as well. So if you're thinking about buying them, this is what they're going to look like. They are cheap silver. They are stacking silver. I'm not, I'm not saying you'd make a lot of money if you tried to flip these. These maybe, once you com complete the entire set, I think you could make a few bucks on these. Um, but I got them mainly a little bit for resale. And then because I am creating a couple of collections of the Zombuck series. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, make sure you guys keep your eye on spot price because it changes every single day. And keep an eye out for those deals. Right now with premiums coming down to as low as, you know, $1.99 or $1.49 over spot. If you can find that on individual rounds, that's kind of the time to buy. Because we do know a lot of this stuff. These were not $1.99 over spot. These were quite a bit more expensive. I want to say they were maybe in the $27 range when, when silver was at $23. So maybe it was like $4.99 over spot. But uh, this kind of stuff is great stacking silver. And it does have a little bit of collectability to it because it is kind of neat looking silver. So with that, I'm going to uh, cut it here. And uh, if you guys are interested, make sure you do check out my store if you'd like a Georgia Silver Hunter coin mat. Uh, if you're new to the channel and you like this video, make sure you drop down below and click on that subscribe button and then click on that little bell and select all so you get notified each and every time I do release a new video. And uh, if you're new here, old here, either way, drop down below, consider clicking that like button and leave me a comment. I know I don't do a lot of silver unboxing videos, but when I do buy it, I do want to show it to you. Um, and, uh, if you got any feedback for me, let me know in the comments down below. You guys take care and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.